everyone. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, with some more Vlogtober slash Crochet-tober. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Today, it's been a long work day. You know, even if it was just an eight-hour day today, which is weird for me, but it just seemed longer than usual. Maybe because it's Friday, even though I'm working tomorrow, too. Eh over time it's one of those days that I don't know if you ever done this you just you feel like eating as someone who is a fat chick um, sometimes food is is a comfort and I, I don't know what I wanted to eat so I kept eating stuff that just didn't make any sense um, yeah there's this piccalilli relish stuff that I got at the European market that's apparently an English thing I don't know but it's very tart and it's little pickled vegetables and I like to make a dip out of it. That with either a little bay or a little sour cream and dip crackers in it or something. I did that and had a whole bunch of that and I shouldn't have eaten it because it was too much. And now I feel full, but the hubby's gonna be ready for dinner soon. This is after work. He's out running some errands and I've already kind of decided what I'm gonna cook um, tonight. I checked the freezer and we still have some mussels. You can buy mussels that are like, they're already cooked, but like frozen with a little bit of sauce in a bag and you can like stick the whole bag in boiling water and then pour it all out. That mixed with a nice pesto and some extra onions and some extra garlic um, along with some kind of pasta actually makes a pretty good meal. So I suggested that because he won't go digging and looking in the freezer. The freezer, by the way, as I'm pointing to it, this is my pantry. I'm sitting in my dining room and the dining room kitchen combined but this is a double sliding door pantry um and i have a stand-up freezer in that end of it uh when we built this house we took what would have been the third bedroom and it's an office because it does not have a closet or a window so there's no glare from the outside that's where i sit and work and since it has no closet we moved that closet space to this side so we have a huge pantry why do two people need a pantry that big? Because we're fat people and we like to eat. And as someone who has been homeless in her life, uh, who has had times of her life when she did not know when there was gonna be food coming around, um, you know, <laughs> like struggle to her, I shall never be hungry again. There is always food in my house. We could be stuck in the house for weeks and still have food. Between canned stuff, dried stuff, freezer stuff your girl's prepared at least for that and enough yarn to keep crocheting now apparently too speaking of crochet yes you see me holding my blanket because it's soft and cuddly um, I'm also working on another divine hat I don't want to lose my stitch I did not stick a stitch marker in it because I was working on this at lunch for a few minutes and this is out of a Caron one pound and there goes my hook um, this is a medium four in the color Kelly green and it is Kelly green but it will make a nice winter hat for somebody even in the divine hat which has some holes and stuff you know not every place is frozen north no I have not tucked in that end yet pull that through and yeah my my uh, six millimeter hook is now on the floor but um, this thing here Ta-da! Uh, today, yesterday I finished up a round of orange. I'm trying to get a whole round around whether or not it's all one color is another thing because today I started with gray. This was not where I started apparently. This is where I ended, got ran out of gray. So I have gray there. It's a silvery gray and gray on that side and gray on that side <laughs> and that's actually where, where the gray started and this is where I finished up with the white I have white on most of one side and all of another just scrap balls there's still some more on the white ball so it will end up someplace else you know the colors are pretty random I just kind of grab whatever color I feel like working on today I've got my bag here boo <laughs> because it is sort of a Halloween-y kind of thing to do with this big old spider web in it and I decide what color I'm going to use and if I don't want to use any of the colors that I have in scrap balls in there I go look in my stash and go what can I add to this 
So you never know what you're going to get on there. And yes, there are some ends from today. I didn't take my time today and weave them in. But last night, I did. I had like three days worth of ends to weave in. I took care of all of them. Look, I'll even show you the back. Because I don't like weaving an end. But if I do it as I go, it's not eight million of them to weave in later. That's just, yeah, the easiest way to do it. I hope you're checking out everybody's Vlogtober slash Crochettober posts because it's been a lot of fun to see what everybody's coming up with. And um, let's see, Kayla, Mama Mama Kayla, has been putting up pictures of other people's projects and so has Ashley. We have got some wonderful, talented people in this community. Y'all are doing some great stuff. I enjoy seeing all of it. And my only ode with what I'm wearing to Halloween today is my little sparkly spiderweb earrings. I actually picked those up at Christmas tree shops. They had a whole bunch of Halloween stuff and I was like, yes, because I like Halloween. Hopefully sometime in the next couple of weeks, the weather will cool off because I have my tickets to Mad World, big haunted attraction um, in South Carolina, which is, it's actually like 30 miles from me. It's not that far. Um, but I don't like to go unless it's cold because it's actually a long trail to, to walk. And you know, it's at night and they do such a fantastic job. If you like haunted attractions, not affiliated by the way, I just, I enjoy going there and taking part and doing the thing. Even while you're queuing up in line to go through the haunted part of the attraction, they have actors, characters dressed up, coming and interacting with the crowd that's waiting. I don't buy the fast pass to jump right to the front because waiting in line is part of the experience to me because you really get to see a lot of fun stuff. They also, which I have not seen yet, have like a haunted mini golf. Um, they have some, they had some games last year. They started that last year. And what we do is now before the season opens, if you're on their email list and if you uh, watch them on Instagram or Facebook, um, they announce a half price day before the season that one day only you can order all your tickets and stuff half price. So what I do is I buy the tickets for me and my friend Sean. The hubby doesn't, is not into that stuff, but Sean will go with me. And it's fun. He, he, I giggle the whole time. He thinks it's hilarious. Um, and he buys a whole bunch of tickets so that we can, you know, because they use tickets on little games so that we can play all the games and be silly. And they have a little escape rooms, like mini escape rooms. And um, I don't know what else they've added this year. They keep adding more and more each year. The people that run this do a fabulous job. Like I said, not affiliated, but if you are into Halloween and haunted attractions and stuff, Mad World Haunted Attraction, it's in South Carolina. And even if you're driving in for it, it is so worth it. Um, for me, it's not far, it's, it's practically local, but you will have an absolute flipping blast. And even little kids, little kids can go you know, adults go and they have a little thing. Like if you're super scared and you don't want any of the monsters, you know, coming up on you, they don't touch you at all. They'll act like they're going to, you know, but it's not one of those ones where they can actually grab you or anything. But if you have one of their special medallions, which actually lights up and does this thing, the monsters stay away from you. So when I, you, you end up in little groups going through the whole, uh, the walk around, I try to make sure I'm not in a group with somebody with that thing because I don't want them staying away at all. I love to get the full experience. I will walk at the front of the little group because I'm not hiding behind anybody. If you want to hide, you can hide behind me. I'm a big girl. I can block for you, but I am enjoying that mess. Me and my combat boots because yes, it's that kind of trail. Don't wear soft shoes. You want to wear shoes that are going to protect your feet. You're walking over tree roots and stuff to earn part of it. Stuff flies over your head. Seriously, I cannot wait to go, but the weather has got to cool off a little bit more. We're already up, today's the 15th, and it's still too warm for me for this. I wanna be able for us to see our breath. That's how cold I want it to be. I want, I want it to be nice and cold. They have, they have a bonfire there in the middle it's a it's a big attraction they have a bonfire in the middle where you can go and like warm up by the bonfire they sell food there's music videos going um you know, these guys know how to put on an attraction it is super awesome if you're not into halloween 
I don't know. I really don't know because I like things for Halloween all year round. I wish that there, that there was a place that did Rocky Horror Picture Show around here. I used to go. I went every week for a long time down in Florida. There was a place called the Carefree Theater, which has since been ripped down, which kind of makes me sad. But the Carefree Theater was here and like catty corner to it on the same block, there was a comedy club. And all of us weirdos that went to Rocky Horror Picture Show on Saturday night would end up kind of running into the people going to the comedy club and they were like, who are these people? Because we'd be dressed up. Okay, running, dancing in stilettos. Yeah, that was, you know, like 25, 30 years ago, maybe a little more. And that was like nearly 100 pounds ago too. So <laughs> I'm not running and dancing in stilettos anymore, but I will still do it um, in my combat boots. Yeah. I mean, I have regular black combat boots and I have pink ones too. So, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing for Halloween season? Halloween season for me can last all year long. It's my jam. Uh, thank you for coming by. Please hit like and subscribe on your way on out of here if you haven't subscribed already because if you hit it again you unsubscribe and that would be a bad thing. Uh, once I hit 500 subscribers and I'm good and solidly there, um, I'll be doing a big giveaway. I haven't even gathered it yet but it's, it's going to be big and it's going to be international so that anybody can enter it. And um, hope you're here for it. See y'all soon. Bye now.